What's up and welcome to another episode of Football Every Day brought to you by Maybank Premier Accounts coming to you live and direct as usual from Studio V. My name is Nelson, joining me today. Hello. Malaysian Insiders, K. Anand, back again with us. And I tell you what, thanks to Maybank, uh, two very special guests I'd like to welcome on the show as well. Nita from Hello. Malaysian Idol as Hello. well as Zahid, Zahid from uh, <laughs> Academy Fantasia 2 actually. Yeah. Guys, thanks for taking the time to be here with us no today. Mm. Um, we know you like your football as well, so that's good. <laughs> um, well, as customary on the show, I've got to start by first asking you um, which team you support and why. Um, Nita, you want to go first? Man U. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Man U. Oh, sorry, yeah, Man U. <laughs> um, why so? Why Man U? No, uh, because maybe uh, to me, uh, Man U, like, uh, I mean like all the teams, to me, it's like when you uh, give us uh, and build the star. Right, so right. So that's, right. that's why. What about you, Zahid? Uh, I start support, uh, support uh, support support supported menu. MU since they won the treble right. 99. Uh, it was amazing to, to see them lift all the three cups. And I started from that. I start yeah, supporting. I kind of took interest in menu from then as well. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I have something okay. in common with the two guys because uh, I support United as well, in case you didn't know. Um, Zaid, let me ask you first, as a, fan, as a Man United fan, um, what do you think about United's season as a whole? I mean, look, considering um, their season kind of fell apart within one week, right? Um, when they got knocked out by Bayern Munich in the yeah, Champions League yeah. and, and they lost to Chelsea at Old Trafford. Yeah, everything is going not well <laughs> that, yeah. that weekend. We lost to Chelsea and we lost to Bayern. Um, there is up and down with, uh, with, with Manchester United, yeah. but you know, for this season, it's kind of hard because Chelsea is strong. Yep. N not just Chelsea, it's every, 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 every team, team as well. Yeah. Right? Okay, so well, what's done is done. But, so let's get into today's chat with the weekend's results. I'm starting with Chelsea 2, Liverpool nil at Anfield. And then yes. you said Liverpool would be really happy to lose that game, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they I also, United to win. So you were right. Yeah, and I also said that Liverpool uh, will be weaker right. and Chelsea more than likely will win the, the, the match. Right. And that was even before the, 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 the whole Liverpool 125 minutes of of playing the, on that Thursday night yeah, with yeah, the Europa yeah. League. So it eventually turned out that they just couldn't perform. Right. So conspiracy theories aside, um, yeah. look, the, the Reds are nowhere near Chelsea's quality ah, at the that's, moment, that's right? no doubt. The Reds are nowhere near even the top five quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right. So it's no more the big four, it's the big three now, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, deserved win for Chelsea, I must agree as well. Okay, after that result, um, you know, the pressure was on United to win at Sunderland to keep their own title chances alive. Mm -hmm. um, and they did do that by coming away with a narrow 1-0 win courtesy of a strike by Nani. Um, Nita, let me ask you, uh, you think United deserved the three points in the end? Um yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they oh my that. god, yeah. <laughs> they to, keep, would, to, right? to, to keep the to keep Chelsea pressure. Yeah. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Um I gotta say Berbatov missed a head full of um you know, uh, chances, half chances. Uh, Zahid, I mean your thoughts on the guy after two seasons uh, with United? We should have won four nails actually. Yeah. Because right. of the three chances that Berbatov uh. So I mean should he stay? Should he go? In your I don't opinion? Know, maybe we give I don't know, chance for one, another one season, let's see how it's true. Because we miss a lot of strikers, I mean, we miss a lot. I mean, like Nisroy, we miss Andy Cole, we miss... Tevez, Ronaldo. Yeah, Tevez. Right, ah. okay, very quickly, in terms of the battle for fourth spot, um, Spurs won by a goal to nil against Bolton, while Man City came from behind to beat Aston Villa 3-1. Yeah. And then look, it's really going to be either one of these two, right, in right. the fight for fourth place. Right. Right. Uh, you know, Spurs struggled to break down Bolton a bit, yeah. but City were an impressive attacking force against Villa, right? True. But so I, who I, would your pick be? I, I would still pick Man City because uh, Spurs have a weak away record. Right. Man City have got that strength and they probably can uh, and they're achieve each other tonight. Morning yeah, as well, exactly, right? they're playing tonight, mm. uh, which will give them the advantage, the home advantage will do it for them, yeah. Alright, great stuff guys. Um, hold on to your horses for a bit. It's time for our first break here on the show. So we'll be right back with more football chat and banter here on Football Every Day brought to you by Maybank Premier Accounts. We'll see you soon.
Welcome back to Football Every Day brought to you by Maybank Premier Accounts with me, Nelson, Anand, and our very special guests, uh, Nita and Zahid. Yep. Guys, uh, moving on very quickly with the weekend's results, some um, Hull City's relegation right. was confirmed as they yeah. could only draw two all at Wigan, while third placed Arsenal, <laughs> who've pretty much no. nothing, to, nothing to play for, <laughs> went down at Blackburn by two goals to one. Look, yeah. Anand, when Percy was back, I mean, you know, he Correct, started yeah. the game to lead the Arsenal attack. Uh, yeah. But look, again, Having taken the lead, um, you can see they really struggle with the physical approach adopted True, by and that, by, that uh, is Sam Allardyce, uh, that's the Sam Allardyce jinx on us. You know, he always yeah. knows how to get at the uh, Wenger's tactics and he, he used it to the maximum effect. Like, who wouldn't do that? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, so Wenger is, is not right. He's, to just, kinda... he's just not uh, getting his game in order together for the league anymore. He just seems to be wanting to do things his own way and playing players which are, don't seem worthy of playing right. in Arsenal right. shirt. So in your opinion and then what does Asin Wenger need to do in terms of rebuilding for the upcoming season? He needs to get a good goalkeeping coach. <laughs> <laughs> coach or goalkeeper? Coach first of all I think honestly coach. Then a goalkeeper. And then a uh, good experienced international goalkeeper. We, we shouldn't be going for second rate goalkeepers anymore. Right. We need to get an established international. Right. Yeah. Zahid, let me just get a quick one. United aside, um, what are your thoughts on the current Arsenal squad? And you know, um, you know, do you see them having a future? It's been like what five, six years now since they've won something, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can say uh, much. Sorry, I <laughs> 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 uh, But I see the ups and down in, in, in Premier League. You know, right. But yeah, they may say because of the injury and Galas, yeah. they see long injury. Yeah. Actually, yep. uh, that affect Arsenal team as well. All right. Nita, do you like Arsenal? Um, As a footballing side, we know they play great football. They, they are capable of some she great likes football. Games, Any particular uh, oh, you like Arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> right, why am I not surprised? Okay, um, time now for our email of the week, uh, which comes from uh, a lady this time, Cindy Tay, who's a new fan of English football, um, following all the entertainment you know, Chelsea and Man United have served up over the course of the season. Um, Cindy believes that football, with its uh, universal appeal, is attracting more and more female fans. So, so Nita, I heard you play a bit of futsal yourself, right? Yes. So yes. would you agree with Cindy, you know, and why so? I mean, you know, why are more and more women now taking up football, whether it's playing or, okay. or watching? Okay, maybe or... easy to find female to support, you know, football, everything. But it's hard to find a female, I mean, passion about football. Wait, right, so point. why do you per um, personally enjoy futsal or football? Um, actually, I was born uh, with the... Okay, my late father is a footballer. Right. And then, uh, I mean, he's an army, so he play football, rugby and everything. So, right. um, more or less, I follow him. Right. Yeah. Okay. Zahid, right. your thoughts on women and football in Malaysia, I mean... Ooh, women. Oh, sexy. Actually <laughs> 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 put, but I mean, why, why do you think more and more women are, are taking up the sport, you know? Um, it's good to see. I mean, I mean, women playing. I mean, in sports, actually, more, uh, especially football, right. because in Malaysia, there's no much about women. football, women development, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, but in but terms of um, being a fan of football, you know, some women say, "Oh, my boyfriend took a Man U, so I like Man U. My boyfriend like Liverpool, so I also like Liverpool." Uh, Do you think they're more <laughs> of that kind of fans, or, or I mean, look, some women like Nita, for example, who are really, really into football. I mean, they follow their teams, they follow the players. You follow transfers. So in terms of in, in terms Malaysia, I mean, do you think is it, is it more women, you know, jumping on the bandwagon or follow is the it players? I think yeah. so. More yeah, follow the players. More of that is uh, why why you support the Chelsea because uh, Beckham is there. Beckham, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. And now it's oh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo suddenly yeah. they're, they're now supporting Real Madrid. Yeah, Real Madrid. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. To, to 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 find a woman like. Really into really, football. Really knows the football, it's right? not that much. Still a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. You've got to agree with you there. Okay, for the winning email, Cindy, you've picked up a cool prize courtesy of uh, Football Every Day. If you're also a Maybank account holder, you'll take home a Maybank pack consisting of a Maybank bag and an Adidas premium as well. So write to us, football at the star.com.my is the address to do so. Okay, and just before our final break, Anand, yeah. let me um, get to you very quickly. What has been built as their club, uh, sorry, their cup final right. tomorrow morning yes. sees um, yeah. Man City play Spurs Correct. at home. So, do you see either one getting three points and who's it going to be? Yeah, Manchester City uh, should win the game. They should easily, uh, they have the players, they have got the home ground advantage right. and they got the determination. They're beating Aston Villa was no joke, so right. they got the potential there. Whereas Tottenham on the road are, have been regularly weak. Give me a score prediction then. I would say maybe. Uh, 2 0 2 1 to Man City. All right, yeah. time now for our second and final break here on the show. We'll be right back with the weekend's big games about the final weekend of fixtures here on Football Every Day brought to my NBA Bank Premier account. So stay tuned and we'll see you real soon.
with us on the third and final segment of today's edition of Football Every Day brought to you by Maybank Premier Accounts. It's time to continue previewing the weekend's, uh, yeah. looks the final weekend of the fixtures in the BPL. So right. we'll start of course with the title race um, where Chelsea host Wigan at Stamford Bridge. And then uh, let me start with you. Hardly anyone is expecting Wigan to really, really get a result here, right? Yeah, Wigan. Uh, but, but, yeah. So, so would, would your thoughts echo that or can Roberto Martinez's Jekyll and Hyde Wigan produce something I mean, extraordinary? I mean, Wigan would really need to pull a real rabbit out of the head like, because they, they don't need to play for anything other right. than to just uh, try and claim a double on Chelsea if mm -hmm. they ever possibly could. Be but uh, I think Chelsea will be out for revenge, number one, for their, that yeah. loss early in the season and also to, to just uh, lock the deal, uh, basically, to get the, the, the title. title. They, what what more motivation right? do you need than that? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, honestly, Zahid, can you see anything other than a straightforward win for Chelsea? You know, uh, Chelsea. <laughs> what what else can I say? Chelsea is 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 already a bit up team. It's they they are strong, yeah. and okay. they can do anything. And without we, even without Anelka, even without Drogba, they have Kalu, they have Saric, and Lampard. They're right? like yeah, so, Lampard yeah. is unstoppable. Yeah, give me a score prediction, bro. A weekend, maybe a draw. That's <laughs> <laughs> A draw would be nice. Right? A draw would be nice. <laughs> maybe, maybe the three of us, but not Anand. I think Anand doesn't want United to win. <laughs> one one, yeah. All right. Okay. From Stamford Bridge to Old Trafford, where Fergie's men welcome Stoke City. Um, look, yeah. needing nothing less than three points. So just in case we can do get a result against Chelsea. Nita, mm. Rooney is back uh, for the Red Devils. You yeah. know, while Nani isn't playing too badly, right? So, yeah. so can you see them beating Stoke in front of their own fans? Um. Uh, I mean, from from the game that I watched before, so it's like, uh, I mean, this this season is like, uh, honestly, honestly, yeah. even I'm the fan, it's like inconsistent. So the menu, right? Uh, yes, menu is inconsistent. It's not really consistent. So I'm a bit upset, but uh, maybe, maybe Rooney yeah. will do something that you know, hat trick. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, then they should beat Stoke at home, right? <laughs> they should beat Stoke at home simply because, again, they've done, been there, done that. Yeah. With Ferguson's more motivation and, and sort of uh, pressure, they'll definitely need to win the game. So there's no question that I, both teams will win the game, but and Chelsea mm -hmm. they got the advantage there. Right. Zahid, if Chelsea are expected to beat Wigan at home, surely United are expected to beat Stoke at home as well, right? Yeah, of course. So what do you think the score is going to be, man? Uh, and Jester and yeah. Stoke. Oh, you're gonna, we're not gonna go so hard on Stoke and just give it two zero. <laughs> not, not a seven nil. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Um, to finish up, and then let me get a quick one from you on Arsenal yeah, sure. versus Fulham. Fulham. Um, look, who will of course be resting players with one eye in their Correct. Europa League yeah, final, right? Um, what do you think is gonna happen? It's been done before, definitely. Uh, Fulham have got a priority. They can win a trophy, a European trophy. Yeah. Uh, and they're already safe in whatever mid-table 10th or 9th position in the league. Mm. So they don't have to try. They just have to make sure they, uh, they show up. Yeah. And thanks to that, Arsenal have the advantage of it. Should be able to get a draw. If they cannot even get a draw, then they don't deserve to be in third oh, place. You, you, so, you, so you're saying Arsenal are <laughs> only going to get a draw against draw, an they under strength should, Fulham Yes, side they should be able to at least Fulham. get a draw. At least get a draw. <laughs> That's right, all, all they right. need. Yeah. No, you heard it from Anand, the man. <laughs> um, so nice one, guys. So to round it up as usual, um, today's Football Everyday fun fact um, is on Chelsea's super midfielder, Frank Lampard. Um, guys, did you know that British media reported that Lampard showed an unusually high IQ score during neurological research carried out by Chelsea doctor oh, wow. Brian English? Wow. Um, English actually said that Frank Lampard scored one of the highest set of marks ever recorded by the company um, running the test. Wow. So Ooh. and then look, the guy can play football and uh, supposedly has a high IQ as well. <laughs> how important will he be for England um, during oh, the summer? Definitely. World Cup? I mean, anyone who can know how to rebound balls of other players and get into goal definitely has a high IQ. Yeah. And I think if you can do that in the World Cup for England, right. all the yeah. better. Right. All right, <laughs> guys. Um, Nita and Zahid, just before we bid everyone goodbye, um, let's quickly hear from you on um, what you guys are up to in terms of your projects, your careers, mm -hmm. and uh, what your fans can look forward to in future. Um, for me, uh, I'm working out my new single, basically. Uh, will be out soon. Right. Uh, that's all, and I'm going for tour for the for the event for the whole right. year. Yeah. Right. Okay, like myself, planning to do a single coming okay. out. Uh, hope soon, and then at the same time, I'm still doing a corporate and dinner show. Corporate and dinner shows, yeah. emceeing and stuff. Yeah. Oh. All right. So I mean, is there anything like you know, any movies or any anything big your fans can look forward to? No, not yet. Not into acting yet. So. Not into acting. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but you play futsal? Yeah, yeah, I do. So, alright. I guess that's about it for this week's edition of Football Every Day brought to my Maybank Premier account. So, guys, thank you very much thank for you. coming to the show. Thank you. Nina, pleasure to have had you. Anand, pleasure as always. Yes, we'll see you next you. week, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, one more week to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, till we see you next week, that's about all we have. It's about all the time we have here on Football Every Day brought to you by Maybank Premier accounts. So, do catch us next week, same time, same place. Enjoy football. We'll catch you soon. Ciao. Ciao. And we have... Uh, yes. We have a Chelsea guy. We like to have the top three in the... <laughs> in the room, Lanik. <laughs>